reason they always look on the dark side. They uh, make marks like think about what happened last year and <laughs> other downers like that. I've told them, look, we're, we're tossing around inflammable liquids in a room full of people. What could possibly go wrong? But no, no, they keep on coming up with unlikely scenarios of things or people catching fire. So I told them, look, I'm a registered professional engineer. Trust me. <laughs> And indeed, we've got all the safety precautions covered. We've got people standing by with fire extinguishers. We've got a bucket full of water. We've got my scientifically designed, well, it's not actually a fire blanket. It's a piece of plastic with newspaper on top. <laughs> but um, I, I will douse it down with water before we start. So nothing, nothing will go wrong whatsoever. I hope. Um, OK, so I want to start with a general observation about juggling. And after you've watched a few moments of it, a thought will probably occur to your mind, which is really, after about 90 seconds, this gets pretty old. <laughs> so what well, we just make it more interesting, we change the patterns if we like. But you know, back in the 1950s, you could keep people entertained with this for an evening. And then along came television, and uh, it was sunk. I mean, OK, you can do... You can do one pattern, you can do another pattern, but still, on the other channel, there's car chases. So, we're going to have to, in some way, kick it up a notch. Well, what would make it more exciting? I know, if there was some possibility of the performer getting horribly injured. <laughs> that always attracts uh, attention. So, that leads on to a number of interesting possibilities. There's the knife. There's the axe. <laughs> There's the glass vial full of anthrax solution. <laughs> but uh, tonight I'm not going to do any of those. I'm going to uh, attempt to juggle with fire. And on the videos it looks pretty easy, so I'm hopefully it will go off uh, well. So we're going to set stuff on fire. And the next question is, what are we going to set on fire with? Well, again, the safety committee said, how about water? <laughs> non-toxic, non-dangerous, good for insurance purposes, but not much of a spectacle. So, next plan, uh, alcohol. And uh, beer doesn't work, I've tried it. But th this is rum 151. This is uh, <laughs> a fairly, uh, a fairly potent uh, beverage. And uh, it's, uh, it's potent enough that it will, uh, it will actually burn. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Burning, but this is pretty pathetic, really. It's uh, a small blue flame, not uh, not readily visible from the back of the room. So let's forget that. Sink water, sink. Uh, <laughs> still, there's no sense in wasting it. We may as well. Uh... <laughs> Down, down, down the uh, 
down down the paper, right. <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, well, you guys want to practice this year on your own? Just stand by. 